I imagine you think about this every day, but on, on this 12th year, what, what are some of your feelings or thoughts uh, as more than a decade has gone? <laughs> Already got me tearing up. It's true, every day I wake up and I think of them all the time. Every second. Um, yeah, tomorrow, Saipan time will be 12 years and I'm still in disbelief. But um, I'm still not giving up hope. And uh, wish and pray every single day for them to be found, to come home. And uh, Jermaine, what, what have you heard from the authorities, whether the local authorities or the federal authorities? When was the last time you heard from them? And what's, what have you heard? Yeah, what's, what's the latest that you've heard from anyone and when? Um, that's something I want to keep private. Um, I mean, there's probably people hearing things from others or even being questioned or whatever, but my personal uh, feelings towards that is something I want to keep private. So you're saying the investigation is still ongoing, right? The uh... Oh, that I will say yes. It has not stopped. And hopefully it never will until they are found or when they come home. And so I wanted to um, talk about that day in Saipan. 12 years ago, you were in Guam, I believe, and they were staying with your dad. Can you just give us a bit of um, context for that day and when you heard that they were missing? Well, um, honestly, didn't know until the day after it happened. Um, I was not on my social media. Nobody was able to contact me directly and right away until I got on social media. And that's when I found out when I called home and was told of the news and all of that. Um, Yeah, that's what happened on that day. And so were you living on Guam permanently or were you just visiting? Um, and how long were the girls living with your with your dad on Saipan? I was um, on and off, you know, back and forth, Saipan and Guam. I was on Guam working and uh, they were with my dad for... A while, I guess. Um, I don't really recall how long. What What were you? What was your conversation like uh, with your dad you know, the day after? I don't remember, but I know it wasn't him that told me. Um, I f believe I found out from. Uh, family relative, uh, an aunt, or I, I don't want to mention her name, but yeah, uh, actually, with what I read, you know, uh, my messenger was basically call home as soon as possible. Your dad's trying to get a hold of you, and uh, when I did, yeah, I was told by my aunt and 
That's about it. Uh, don't really remember the conversation. Like I said, uh, it was shocking and like. Well, can can you just tell us a little bit about um, Paloma and Malena? Because uh, I think a lot of people see their photos and hear the story every year. But what what kind of girls? What kind of daughters were they? What kind of sisters were they? What were their personalities? <laughs> The time when they were with me, uh, of course, from newborns to toddlers to uh, preschoolers, uh, and these are just my um, what what. I've lived with with them as far as how they were. Faloma was very quiet and uh, shy. Here comes her sister a few months later and grew up to be very tough and always taking care of her sister. She, every time I would drop Faloma to preschool, Malena wanted to follow and be, you know, in the classroom and everything. And by chance, by three years old, she was able to attend Kagman preschool at the time. And, you know, she was just my happy child. Philoma, of course, was, like I said, the quiet one. Um, growing up with them for the few years I had, they're wonderful. Uh, they actually were exposed to their father's family for some time and I was amazed how they picked up on their um, father's language and I learned with them and it was just amazing how they spoke to each other and just looking at them and uh, they love to play and um, just then hearing stories from my relatives and stuff about how they were with with the, when they were under their care just you know brings tears to me and happiness and like I was able to still live, you know, their lives, even though I wasn't there with them. And um, I, I just wanted to ask what, what you, uh, if there's anything else you want to share with the community watching this, you know, the people, you know, the islands watching this, what, what would you like them to know about the girls or your circumstances or the entire situation 12 years later? Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add that I didn't ask about? Um, I just want to do, say thanks to everybody for all the prayers because I do feel it. It gives me strength to live every day. Um, gives me hope. And uh, 12 years, you know, will this be the last year? Or do I have to wait another 12 years for answers? Um, so I just wanted to ask anybody, any type of information that you have, let us know. Please help us bring the girls home. 